Hey everybody, it's Shams. Welcome to a video tutorial <clears throat> on how to use BizHawk for starting N64 tasking. Um, but yeah, um, so let's get started here. So there's going to be two links in the description. You're going to click the prereqs one one first, and that's going to take you to this page here. Frick was that? Right, whatever. Anyway, it's going to take you to this page here, and then you're just going to click this right here, and it's going to download the prereqs. Uh, you can open that, run the exe, it's pretty self explanatory. Um, but after that, you're going to click the other link, and it's just going to take you to the page. This page, and you're going to click this. And then after you click that, <coughs> you're going to just make a folder somewhere. I already have this in here. Delete that. You just make any random folder. And then after this is done, you're going to open it. Shouldn't take too long to download, only 25 megabytes, so it should take just a couple seconds. Anyway, so after you do that, uh, you're going to bring up your folder and then you're going to drag everything into that folder. And that's what you have to do with, uh, with the links. And then we're also going to uh, get set up with uh, ROMs. So there's no like specific website for ROMs, but what I like to do is just make a folder in here named ROMs. Then I just like to put uh, different um, consoles in here. Right now we're just going to use N64 because <coughs> that's the only game that I task really. And then you're just going to look up the game you want. So you're going to look up like Zelda, Ocarina. Can't type my mics in the way. Alright, so if you want it to be Japanese or Java, I want it to be Japanese. Alright, so you just click um click the one that uh you uh you need and then um that's a freaking torrent, we don't need that. I'm just gonna go with this one right here. So the first uh one you click sh usually should be the, the one that you need. Um you can click the download down here, you should scroll down a little bit. It'll usually hit you up with a re recapture or whatever, but this time it didn't, so that's good. You're just gonna click it and then it's gonna download. <laughs> Should not take long. I'm gonna open that after it's downloading, but yeah, um if you if you just if you don't want um if you want to uh just have all your ROMs in there, which I don't really recommend, um, then you don't need to put the N sixty four there. Also you can like um put them in a different location, it doesn't need to be in here. <laughs> which I think pretty much everybody knows, but <clears throat> just in case you don't, just in case you're like super new. <laughs> But anyway, so after we get a ROM, we're going to go ahead and go into our folder here. Oops. Drag that in there. And then we're just going to go into BizHawk here. Open MUHawk. Don't worry about DiscoHawk and some other stuff that you don't need. You don't ever need to use that unless, I don't know, I don't even know what it's for. Never really used it. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is put the window size times 4. Or four times or whatever, and then we're gonna click display frame counter and display re record count because you wanna know how many re records you do and you wanna know what frame you're on. Um, in case you just, in case you're going back to, uh, 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 in case you're going back to, um, continue making your tasks. Anyway, so after that, we're done with the, um, Google Chrome or whatever you use. Anyway, so after this, so you can end a lot. We're gonna go right into profiles and we're gonna switch this to N64 tool assist speed run or if you're doing something else, just normal tool assist speed run. But I'm doing N64. So we're gonna choose N64 and we're gonna click OK. After that we're gonna go to hotkeys and we're gonna set our hotkeys. Um you can delete uh fast forward and turbo and quick load and quick save. And um we're gonna click uh we're gonna delete rewind because we don't really need that. Like pause on period, my frame advance on S. And decrease speed on O and increase speed on P. These are my binds. This is what I like. Now we're going to go to save states and we're going to delete all the select states. We don't need those. It'll autom it'll automatically select the state if you um if you save it. So we're gonna. I just like to put say uh, save zero on my enter and load zero on my backslash and then all these uh, on my. Just number keys, and then yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. You hit <coughs> one of the number keys to make a save state, and then you hit the F F5, F F6, whatever, to load it. And then um, after that, we're gonna go to cores. And if you're doing N64, 
you're gonna want to go in the N64 uh, video plugin, and then everything's fine except this. You're gonna change this 800 by 600 and Z64 HLE plugin. Go to Jabo and, sl uh, and select Copy Frame Buffer if you're doing Ocarina of Time. If you're not doing Ocarina of Time, don't worry about this. That's pretty much it. So next thing that we're gonna do is um get started with our movie. So we're gonna click Open ROM. Go to ROMs N64. And we're gonna open our ROM. So now once our ROM's open, um, don't worry about like the little red, that's just the game booting up. After this, uh, we're going to want to open Virtual Pad. And we're just going to shape that to how it's supposed to look. We're going to go to, um, uh, where is it? it in here no all right so if if you're on ocarina of time and it has you have the copy frame buffer it's going to be a little bit slow but since we're going to be frame advancing like this it's it's just gonna it's it's gonna be like that normally anyway so you shouldn't need to worry about it really um but yeah if you want to start a movie uh, you're gonna go to file here click movie you're gonna click um record movie Set your uh, name, my use jams, and you don't need to do this, but I just, you don't run a retype it every time. Um, record from power on now. Save RAM, don't worry about that. Just record from power on or where you are now, wherever you want to record from. Um, and then <clears throat> you can save your movie wherever. I like to save it in the actual movies thing, and you can name it whatever you want. You can name it like Test or whatever. Tets, yeah. Got a nice pair of Tets. Um, after you hit OK, you're gonna want to pause. That's so um, you don't like. You, you, it has to be. It, a task has to be optimal. So you're gonna want to pause at the beginning before anything happens, um, just so you can like get prepared and know what you're doing. So in this case, Ocarina of Time. We're just gonna. Um, oops. What the frick. All right. So I don't know what happened there, but anyway. So. This Nintendo 64 screen will come up. Um, this isn't skippable. But um, one thing that I had trouble with um, when I first started testing was um, knowing how to um, continue my movie after f after like I'm done with it or something. But let me see if I can figure out how to freaking fix this here. What the frick? All right. Um, it has to be somewhere here. I have no clue where. Whatever. Um. So yeah. Um. You're just gonna like. You can go by frame by frame. Just edit the inputs or whatever. And it's obviously not gonna be optimal. But say we get past the pause screen and like, oh yeah, oops, I, I'm I'm done now. I have to like go, go do something. You're gonna what you're gonna want to do is go to movie, save movie, and then. After that, you're gonna want to make a save state on any any um any any number. I I just like to put it on one. And then after you do that, you're gonna click um <clears throat> stop movie. And then if we want to replay it, we're gonna click play movie. We're gonna click on it here and we're just gonna click OK. And you can watch the movie up till the end, but what you want to do before you do anything is hit the Q button to switch to read plus write mode. And what that'll do is, when you get to the end of the movie, if you put a save state before you finished, if I just hit F1, it'll start to record again. See, the, the menu screen came up this time, so if you stop the movie here, and save, and uh, play it again, you see it was 8 seconds last time, now it's, oops. So it was 8 seconds last time, and now it is, um nine seconds so that's basically how you just uh continue making a movie it's pretty simple um from here on out um you can like do uh whatever you want in your game it doesn't really matter um because obviously you might not be uh tasking an ocarina of time you know but yeah so that's pretty much it <clears throat> um if you have any other questions uh i will try to answer them or i'll make a video about them uh so yeah um those are pretty much the basics and that's um
that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, so yeah, if you have any other questions, like I, that I didn't explain in this video, or you got confused or something's not working correctly, then just leave a comment, and I will try to get back to you. Um, and I will try to make a video explaining it for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys later.